Okay, so now let's try and get some scores. So that means every time the Santa collects a present, he gets some points. Uh, right, to do that, let's first of all look at the start button because when a start button is pressed, we want to set up the variables. So we can have a new variable right up at the top here called, that's a global variable as well, called score. Okay, and when the, the game is started, we're going to set the score to zero. So put zero into score. Okay. Then it's going to display the present. Okay, that's fine. And now when we get, when the center touches the present, we want to increase the score. So if we go to object, uh, stack script, and have a little look, when is Santa touching the present? Right, so he touches the present here. Uh, then what we can do is we can say that the score, so we're going to put, or instead of that we'll just say add, let's say 10, to score. Now it's important here, because we've got score in this part of the code, we've got to have it as a global variable up at the top here as well. So at the top here we can write down global score. Okay, so that means the score is used in both of those different pages of code. Now we need to display the score, so if we go to our stack here and we drag over our text box, this one here, and this can be our little score thing here, and if we just double click on that, we'll end up with the, oops, let's get rid of that. Okay, so, yeah, so if we, if we click on this text box and we change, double click on it, this little box over here pops up and we can just look at basic properties I'm going to change this field is going to be the score field so put field um, field field score so that means we can display the score into that field so if we go here now so we've added 10 to the score and then if we just update the score field so we can say put uh, score into field field score. Okay, so that means we'll put the score into that field so we can see how many points we've got. Uh, also, what we need to do is we get to copy this bit of code here because at the very start, on the start button, you'd want to make sure that the it starts at zero on the score field. So let's just see what happens now when we run that. Okay, so Santa chart, or in fact, you press start. There we go, we've got a zero in the score field, uh, so we can touch the score. Ah, it's not gone up by 10. Unbelievable. So let's find that, that sign starting to annoy me. Very annoying. So let's go back and see if we can work out what's wrong with the code. Okay, so back into here. Put score into field. Yeah, okay, that looks alright. Add 10 to score. That looks all okay. Oh, it's a classic mistake, I forgot to press apply. There you go. So that should work now. If I click on that, get the start going. Oh, we've got to go all the way across. There we go, it's gone up to 10. And get up to 20, that's all I can bear one more of these. Alright, we're we'll going to stop there, that's enough. It's painful. Okay, uh, let's see, what else can we do now? Um, well, we could have a little timer, and maybe in the next lesson I'll show you how to do a, a timer. So we've only got a certain amount of time to actually get all the, the presents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one thing I noticed, what was it again? Oh yes, that's right, one thing I've just noticed that this thing here is untitled. We should actually call this something, let's call this uh, Xmas. This is your, um, what's this called? This is your main stack. So if you want to go to Object, Stack Inspector, and type in oh, Christmas, Xmas uh, game. And just to make it a little bit more... Um, meaningful. Okay, so I hope that helps you in uh, creating a score. Uh, you could, well that's one thing, you could actually just put a little label there as well so you, people actually know it's a, a score, so that can be, um, if you want to, if you double click on that, basic properties, content, and if you change that label to score, then it'll appear, appear over there as score, but it's not very clear, so if we again double click on that, we can change the colours, and if we get a little bit of white background, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a lot better. There we go, that's much better. Okay, hope that helps.